Okay, hey guys. So, where we are right now, this is my guest room. Um, it's very plain right now. Uh, these walls will change color. This will be turned into a guest room slash studio slash game room. As of now, it's just pretty much an empty room. Um, but I want to start a new couple new segments to the channel. This segment is going to be called Best of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, just Best of Marketplace. This is going to be episode one. I'm going to aim to make these about 10 to 15 minutes long. This one might run a little longer just because it's the first one and we're kind of trial by error. We're going to go through just a couple. Basically, I go through Facebook Marketplace a lot and I figure there's some really funny stuff on there and some really cool stuff and I'm pretty decent at it. So I figured we're going to give a stamp of approval on pricing, see what people, if people are on point. Um, and granted, this is completely my opinion. You like, take everything I say with a grain of salt. You can go ahead and, you know, this isn't fact, this is an opinion. Um, so let's jump right in. And basically at the end, we will give it a valid or not valid uh, on the pricing. Um, and then we'll find some funny ones. And um, I will link everything that we talk about in the description. So you can go, if you wanna go buy one of these things, go check it out. But yeah, this is gonna be a new segment to the channel and then we're gonna be adding another one called Fast Food. We're gonna be traveling around the country talking to some really cool car owners, friends of mine, um, but we'll get there. Uh, first, this is gonna be great for content. Probably do this once a month or so. Um, just gather some some Facebook Marketplace finds and then show you. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh, this thing's cool. All right. Um, oh, he added a video. Very cool. Okay, so 14 and a half grand. Um, it's a Fiat 500, which is weird, but it's got a K series. It's all wheel drive and it's unfinished. Um, then, yeah, it's got a Gato. Is it a Gato intake manifold? No. Uh, whatever, it looks like a billet intake manifold. It's supercharged, or rather, it's. Pro charged, uh, not root style, uh, centri centrifugal. Um, I mean, what's it make? Who knows? But this is probably pretty rowdy, and the fact that it has TEs on it um, makes it cooler. Uh, I think those are like 14 or 15 inch TEs with slicks all around them, so that's gotta be pretty rowdy. So for 14 and a half grand, I'm gonna say that's kind of valid. Although, I really don't know what it needs to be finished. Kind of sounds like a giant pain, but done, it could, it could be worth maybe 20, 25. You know, we'll go with, we'll go with a valid on this one because I think this could be pretty neat. It's just, you know, for the right person to have to figure out, not me. Let's move on. Oh, this thing's cool. 30 grand. I mean, these cars just go for that. This is, I mean, pictures are quality. I think the description is quality. I haven't read it yet. Um, I haven't read it the other day. This is a clean car. This is a very clean car. Um, 2500, oh, it's a WRC model too. Super cool. Yeah, short and to the point, I think this is a valid car. I, it's a good way to spend 30 grand, I think. Um, I think it's a great way to spend 30 grand. All wheel drive. This is like the coolest of the cool for Celicus. It doesn't really get better than that. Um, this is cool. I mean, $4,200, like, could be built like garbage, but I mean, you're gambling with four grand here. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's a 2 2. I guess that's what comes in the S10s. Um, says he needs a boost gauge and RPM gauge hooked up. Uh, it's five speed. I mean, if you're just trying to mess around, it's kind of neat. I, I mean, it's four grand, how can, yeah, let's go with a valid. Um, move on. Oh, this MR2. Five grand seems quite legit. Again, we're, we're gambling with pennies here. It seems like, it doesn't look like a 3S GTE. Are 3S GTEs 2.2 liters? That might be a 3S GTE. I could be completely off base here. Um, it's got a slick, in the, slick on it. 
Looks like I've got an FD as well. Um, that shifter, though, I think he's just working on it. Five grand? I mean, there's no description. Runs great, great, that sounds good. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. does it make power? Like, what are we talking here? We're gonna go with the questionable on this one. It's, it's five grand, right? I mean, you're probably gonna show up and it's gonna be a hunk of junk, but it, it's worth showing up to look at. Let's go there. I think that's, that's what we can leave that one at. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, it's in Georgia. The paint looks good, but chassis looks straight. Fitment's not high. I mean, Fitment's kind of whack. Uh, but it's an 82 Starlet that looks decently clean. So if you're looking for a Starlet, I feel like this is the way to go. Not really, I mean, the dash is cracked. Um, 8,200 bucks is kind of a premium, I feel like, but at the same time, the cars look straight. Uh, not into all that blue, but maybe it came like that. I don't know about that. Um, I don't really care about the JNC rims, whatever this guy's saying. But yeah, this is uh... So we're gonna call it not valid, we're gonna call it valid, and we're gonna call it worth showing up for. Um, I think this is worth showing up for if you can get it for like six grand. So, let's move on. Stagia, um, that's just so much money for a stock Stagia. I don't know. 43 grand, 100 grand, 100,000 miles. They have a lot of photos, so that looks good. It's the Autech version, so it's got the RB26 in it. Um, I mean, it looks pretty boom stock. If you're looking for a, like a, if you're looking for one of these cars, this is probably gonna be one of your best bets because it's a stock looking like, well, maybe well taken care of. R33 drivetrain. So it's got the Atezza, yeah, yeah, so. It's RE30s on it. Those don't look like RE30s. Maybe an older version? They're ugly. I just I just couldn't ever pay that for it. I'd pay 20 for it, but no more. I'm not, going, I'm not getting a valid. I'm sure somebody will pay it though. But he's not, that's not like smoking crack or anything like that. Um, fire sale. Stock, six speed. All right, at least it's a six speed. You know, it's good. Is it twin turbo? Why is it cheap? This is cheap for a twin turbo. For an actual, usually they're this and they're non-turbo, NA and auto. So for a six speed, this is the first deal. I can't call it a deal. This is the first normal price Supra I've seen in a long time. It's still in Tokyo. I get it. Yeah, it's gonna cost more money to bring here. That's why. You probably spend this little like six, 65, 10 grand, maybe 15, 70, 65, 70 to get it here. Kind of cool that it's an authentic VL side kit though. Bone stock. It's probably the cheapest way to get into a Supra that's worth getting into. Cause you're ready, you're gonna spend, on a left-hand drive super, you're gonna spend 50 grand on an NA auto car and then have to put another 40 grand into it to have a super that's worth a shit. Because imagine driving, I just, it's like, you know, the FD never came with a model with like an NA rotary, like, you know, the R34. You know, you could, you can get like an RB20, I think. No, even the, it was a Neo, it was a 25. Like, you couldn't really get those cars in a trim that was like, wasn't worth a shit. And a GE Supra that's auto is like the slowest and most boring thing on the planet. It's heavy, it's, it's a dog. You can't do anything with that. You gotta put 40 grand in it, in a trans and a motor before it's even close to fun. This, this is valid, I think. Even if you pay 65. <sighs> For somebody, not me. I, who, Supra. Somebody will want it. This is awesome. I love every bit of this. Um, we're listening. It is a, it's 11 grand, so it's kind of expensive. Um, I don't really care 
if you spent 16 grand on it, to be honest. Um, engine has 60,000 miles on it. It's going to be like freshly imported from Japan because that's the 60,000 mile rule. Uh, but it is, what is this, a Ranger? Oh, no, it's a Toyota. Yeah, it's a Tacoma. I mean, Tacomas are worth that anyway, right? 11 grand, it's got a 1J in it. Valid! Hell yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a, you know, I'm going right for it. Fuck yeah. All day. It's in Virginia. Oh, Gainesville, Virginia? Interesting. Um, yeah, valid. Moving on. I already know I'm going to say valid on this one. It's a C4. Like, it's a, it's a C4 that runs eight sevens in the quarter mile. So if you just want something fast, I mean, 26 grand right in for a car that runs eights is, uh, I mean, power for your, I mean, you, I guess you could drive it if he's got a plate on it. It's worth it. It seems like a decent build. If it was like a C6 chassis or something like that, it'd be a lot more money. So I think that where it's at for an eight second car is about right. Um, worth it. That is valid. I think this was um, AJ's car, Perpetual Transient. It used to be Ill Roller on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it was his. So it's, I mean, 13 grand for this, I think it's valid. I hate these seats, but other than that, it's pretty freaking awesome. Air suspension, yeah. I mean, that's cool. I mean, how, what other, this, that's the most stylish way to get around town all day. And valid, 13 grand's not that bad. It says 43,000 miles, I don't know if I believe that, but yeah. Cool, valid, moving on. I just like these cars. It's just such a cool low and slow thing. Um, purchased in California, it's on an air ride. This just fucks. This is sick. I'm like so about this. And it's really clean. Worth every bit of 24 grand. I mean, the car's paint looks good. Interior is clean. Good shots. It looks great. I'm in. I don't really know anything about these cars. So, it's got original paint work, no body work. Wow, that's wild. I think this looks great. Air conditioning. No headrests. Power windows. It's a 68 in power windows. Valid. Valid because this is his wife's car. Like, I want to meet you guys. This is really cool. But yeah, um, Evo 4, wife's Evo that they had three while they were in Japan, uh, owned it for three years, imported it a couple years ago. First owners in the US, Evo 4 came with 4G, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Just tried it to work every day. That's awesome. Couple of rust bubbles on the roof. Okay, thank you for being up front. Sick. How much do you want for it? 22? Worth it. It's an Evo 4. Even if it has a couple of rust bubbles, you should just deal with it. Worth it. All day. All fucking day. Car's clean. Need some stuff. What does it? Valid. This is just neat. It's too much money. But just the shit you see on Facebook Marketplace is just too good. All right, 20 plus miles an hour. No, I mean, it's just not, I mean, worth everybody. Um, valid. You're looking for, I mean, you don't get to see these cars ever for sale. It's an HF Evo 2, so you don't. I mean, it's worth it. I've driven one of these cars. Thank you, Hosen. They're freaking fighter jets. They're so cool. Like, look at that. That's a fighter jet. Freaking dash. It's so cool. That's a, that's a W. You might hear Amanda in the background, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Worth it. Done. Yes. In the link. Go buy it. 30 minutes? Oh, man. I'm going to cut this down, though, so we'll hopefully get down to 20. Yeah, so it's NA, I think it is. Yeah, 1G FE. They're like... 30 grand, oh no, it's 15. 15 for for this isn't bad. I think 10 would be better, but it's been imported and you have to deal with all that stuff. So I guess, yeah, it's a little rusty, but it all looks like surface rust. Um, 55,000 miles, you could do a swap on it. It's basically like buying a IS, which I guess an IS goes for like, 
the manual I ask goes for like 12, 10 grand nowadays, nine grand nowadays, but this is a chaser, so you get the chaser tag. So yeah, I'd say that's valid. I think that's a good price. I think he did well. I think that's pretty humble. Um, 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 grand on Steelies and stock suspension, 13 on Steelies, whatever his Steelies are. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he's gonna get a valid. I think that's fine. GTS with an, who, this is the reason I added this one because he said with an RB20 DET swap, I guess it had an RB20 in it without this turbo. Who goes through the effort of putting an RB20 in it? anything? Like if you're gonna swap anything, that's what you take out and you throw in the fucking garbage. They sound good, but they go nowhere. You're spending money to put this in something? For what? I feel strongly about this. Car runs strong. Yeah, I feel strongly that, that this is not the way to go. It's not awful in price, but I wouldn't pay it. Not valid. Not valid. Until today. This will be the last one for today. Um, it's a lot of money, but it's kind of cool. Um, they, I don't know if they have OEM like overs from factory. Like that these, I think it's fucking cool. Um, I don't care if you put 26 grand in it. Let's talk about that. I don't care if it's right-hand drive. It doesn't make it cool. Let's just remember that. It does, if your car is right-hand drive, it just doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it's automatically cool. It's got a five-year warranty. You got the 3M wrap though. I don't care about how much reason you spend on your coilovers. This would be a very cool car for for eight grand. I think this would be a very cool car for eight grand. Um, I, again, I don't care what you spend on the car. It's about what it's worth. I like your hexagon lights, but your variety. Yes. Very cool car. Too much money. 17 grand, you can get like a lot of, well, a lot more car. You can get the MR2, that probably makes some power, and you can get that, you can almost buy that Fiat, you can buy the Fiat and the MR2, have a running car, and then also try to fix that uh, Fiat, that'll be fast. 17 grand, you can also have, what else do we have on the list? That would, you know, the Chaser, I think that's a cooler car, with rear wheel drive, this is front wheel drive. Um, you're halfway to that, almost halfway to, yeah, you're halfway to that uh, GTS, that, that Celica, which, you know, still valid, still valid. Um, very cool car, just not in my opinion, worth 17. Uh, might be to somebody though. Okay. Well, that was today's episode. Um, these will be shorter, I promise. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll probably just do like five or six at a time and I'll find funnier ones. I'll find, I'll find a couple funny ones and a couple ones that are just controversial. You guys can let me know what you think about my opinions in the comments. Um, here, I'm wearing a Speed Culture shirt. Uh, these will be available for purchase here shortly. Uh, same with the hat. This is a one-off, but, um, sorry, there you go. This is a one-off. Um, I kind of got it just to gain interest, and I freaking love it, so I'd love to make more. So please, let me know if you guys want them. I'll make those uh, next. The website is linked. Uh, you can go ahead and check all, all the stuff, um, and then buy what you want. I got these available. Um, I, haven't, so I haven't really, I haven't pushed them yet, so go ahead and check them out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'll have more, we'll do this once a month, uh, maybe more, uh, depending on how you guys like it. Let me know if you like five to 10 minutes or if you like longer, but probably end up being five to 10 minutes for the rest of these. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this cut this down to like 20 minutes. So yeah, see you next week. Peace.